What's up guys, this is Jake and today I'm coming at you with a quick review of the Gigera Magnetic Wireless Charger. This is a two for one wireless charging station for your iPhone and Apple Watch. Now, one of the first things I wanna make sure you're aware of when you actually receive it, mine came in a box with a black one and I freaked out for a second like, oh, did I order the wrong one because I wanted the white one. But don't worry, once I opened it, the white one is the one inside. So don't freak out about it by just looking at the box. I saw someone else uh, had the same issue, so I just want to put you at peace before you freak out about that um, because I love the white version of this charging station. So real quickly, let's go over um, just the packaging of it, then we'll take a look at it in use, and I'll show how it works with both my Apple Watch and my iPhone. So it comes in this right here. So when you open it up, it's actually going to be in this plastic um, container right here. So this was sitting here and along with the charger, the actual cord was in here as well. So it all fit into here, was in this plastic piece that you can see underneath. So it was secured very well. And then inside it was also the instruction manual right here. So I wanna take a quick look at this. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward, right? You've got your magnetic piece right here, which is where your iPhone is going to go. And then you've got this piece right here, which is where your Apple Watch is gonna go. And we'll look at this in a second, but you see this actually pops out. So you can charge your iWatch or your uh, Apple Watch with it sitting down like this or with it around and your watch right here. So that's really cool as well. So. One thing I wanted to note from the instructions, um, obviously you can see the product design here, how to use it, we'll take a look at that in a second. But I wanna make a note of the indicator light just so you can have an idea. Uh, the indicator light is going to be right here in the front. Again, we'll see in a second, but I do want, uh, just to take a look at the instructions, what is going to happen with the indicator light when the power is turned on. Uh, you'll see this blue light pop up. I won't read all of this, you can pause it and see it, but this is kind of the, the way the light works depending on what device you have plugged in, how long the light's gonna be on, and all of that. But I won't read all of it. If you wanna read that, pause it, and you can take a look at exactly what the indicator light is going to do. So again, we have these two pieces that came with it, right? The main power piece and then the actual cord. So I'm gonna plug this in. Give me one second, because I wanna plug this in over here in the corner. And then you can see right here on the back of the device, We'll plug it in just like that. And we can see, well, you didn't see it, but the blue light flashed very quickly. And let me grab a couple things. First, let me grab my iPhone right here. And so we have the magnetic, first thing I wanna point out, but the blue light popped on as soon as I put it down. And then you have your magnetic, so it holds it really well. You could even see, kinda of as I did that a minute ago, like that it's holding even as I'm going here. Obviously that's not the way it's designed to be used, but you can see the power of the magnet holding it. Um, and you can see, pull it up a little closer. You can see up here in the corner, it's already started charging. Again, let me pull it off. Put it back on. And you see right there, it's charging. And you can see the percent there. The next thing I wanna take a look at, I'll take my Apple Watch off right here. And the first thing, you can put it on straight like that, or you can come here in the bottom, just pop it out, and then put your Apple Watch on like that. So I'm a big fan of this. I think it looks really, really sleek. I like it beside my bed. I think it looks a lot better than just randomly having these two devices charging there. One last thing I do wanna show let me take these off real quick. It's just the bottom of the um, charging station just so you can get a look at it there. So we'll pull this back down. And you have this very nice rubber piece around it, which again is just gonna protect whatever it's sitting on. And the last question I saw some people asking about it, one of the most important things when you have a charging station like this is that it doesn't um, overheat, right? That it doesn't overcharge, that it cuts off. So. Um, you can be confident that this has over current protection, over voltage protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection, overcharge protection. All of that stuff is super important when you're talking 
about getting a charging station like this. So if you're looking for a charging station, I do highly recommend checking this one out. This is the one that I'm now using by my bed every night. This is what I'm charging my stuff on every night. Looks really good, works really well. So if you're looking for one, I do highly recommend checking this one out.